going outside. I've been able to um, use my mask and my machine, but I don't know if it's working, to be honest. Like, I am still having the same episodes that I was having, which prompted me to go to the doctor in the first place, which what I do is, I, like, I don't have any of that tired symptom stuff, you know, where you're tired all throughout the day. I, I don't have that. And it's probably because it measured as mild, but they wanted to treat for it because of my other factors, you know, because I have high blood pressure and heart arrhythmia and all that other stuff. So they wanted to treat for it. Okay. Fine, they want to treat for it. Well, the whole reason that I thought something was wrong in the first place was because I'm waking up gasping. I'm still doing it. Not all the time, but I wasn't doing it all the time before. So I don't even know if it's working. And now you guys know me with my, you know, I have these quirks and these little anxiety things. So now I'm in a total panic that that I have the kind called central sleep apnea, where your brain kind of shuts off your breathing. Now, my respiratory tech said I don't have that. He said, you don't have it. You, you don't show that you have it, but you know what? No, I think I have it. Here is my delicious two-point breakfast. It's about 11.15 in the morning. I've had two cups of black coffee, and now I'm having one egg with a half a cup of egg whites. I sauteed some onion and also some Boar's Head Deluxe ham, one ounce, so that is one point. And then I have one point of Cabot Light Shredded Cheese, 50% reduced fat, and a little bit of Ortega Hot Sauce over the top. So that will be two points on blue and purple. And let's see, that should be, yeah, three points on green. Here is my lunch. I know this looks a little boring, but it's totally what I'm in the mood for. Just some broccoli spray butter and some really good cabbage cheese. I've got two different kinds, obviously, there that I grated. So this will be, let's see, two smart points because I put a pretty hefty amount of, even though this cheese is reduced fat, I put quite a bit on it, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine on points right now and I love it. Do you guys do that? Do you kind of get like, tell me what vegetable you can kind of binge on that you just totally love? Leave it in the comments. I'm really curious what vegetables are your go-to. So I am going to hit this with a little pepper and this will be lunch. Here's my kind of weird one point dinner. So I have an entire can of whole green beans that I did in a pan with some olive oil spray, salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. Then I also have some Boston lettuce. I've been liking that lately, I don't know why. Some pimentos, a little bit of fat-free cheese, and some vinegar and oil dressing. I love pimentos, you guys. I know I always say that, but they really add flavor to things. And then I also have my new favorite, which is the cherry flavored bubbly seltzer water. I really, really like that. I know it's kind of an acquired taste, but I love it. I think it tastes like Dr. Pepper. Anyway, that's what I'm having for dinner tonight because I'm trying to keep the carbs relatively low to get this extra weight off. And also, Kevin, I don't know what he's doing. He told me he was going to get a pizza, which I'm not going to participate in that. So I'm just going to have something that sounds good to me tonight. And that's okay. You know, sometimes you got to have a vegetable dinner. 
To make our mixed berry nice cream, we are going to need the usual, which is one and a half frozen bananas. Then we need about a half a cup of frozen berry medley. You can see mine is frozen solid there, but that's how I want it because I don't want to add liquid into our nice cream because I don't want it to get runny at all. So about a half a cup of your favorite unsweetened frozen berries. And then we also need 13 grams of sugar-free strawberry jello mix. And we need four tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk and a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla. Smell that. Let's see how we look. Oh, yep. Look at how thick this is, you guys. It's like sorbet. That is perfection. And again, that is why we use frozen fruit because we do not want to have a situation where it is runny. And that is definitely not runny.